Hey everyone, this video is going to discuss conversion disorder, including what it is, its diagnosis, and its management. So let's get straight into it. So conversion disorder is characterized by neurological symptoms that can be either motor or sensory, but that have no underlying pathology. So there's nothing that uh, can be found on exam or labs or images that describe these neurological symptoms. And these possible symptoms can include things like blindness, paralysis, seizures, weakness, things along those lines. So in order to diagnose conversion disorder, you need to have one or more symptoms of altered voluntary motor or sensory function. So we're having some kind of issue with our motor or sensory function. And you need to have incompatibility between the symptom and any underlying pathology. So this basically means there's really nothing to point to for why that symptom is occurring. Uh, additionally, the symptom can be explained by any other medical condition that the patient may have and that the symptom also needs to result in some kind of distress or impairment, uh, whether it be socially, uh, occupationally, or in any other significant setting for that patient. And one of the most interesting things about conversion disorder is this uh, idea of the uh, labelle indifference, and it's uh, commonly associated with conversion disorder, and it actually translates to beautiful ignorance in French. And so what happens a lot of time uh, in conversion disorder patients is that the patient recognizes uh, that they're having these symptoms, you know, whether it be blindness or whatever it may be, they're kind of indifferent to the symptoms they're having. So they recognize they have it, but they don't really care about it. So that's one of the uh, high yield associations with conversion disorder. So in regards to uh, management and treatment, the most important thing to remember for conversion disorder is the idea that this is a condition based on function and not structure. There's no underlying pathology. There's no issue with the anatomy. There's nothing that can be fixed in regards to bone or your eyes. It's not really along those lines. Patients need to be educated, need to engage in psychotherapy, and then they also need to engage in some kind of PT or OT to help them address any weakness they may have. I hope this video was helpful in explaining very briefly some high yield facts about conversion disorder. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below. Thanks.